Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining our WNCT Now digital news update as we continue to track the coronavirus. I'm Kelsey O'Donnell, live here in our digital studio. And just within the past hour, Governor Cooper addressed the media, confirming the state of North Carolina has its first positive case of the coronavirus due to the community spread, due to community spread in Wilson County. Now, what does that mean, you might be asking? It means that the person has not traveled nor been in contact with a known positive case at this time. Here is Governor Cooper from or earlier today. This morning, North Carolina now has 97 positive cases of the new coronavirus, COVID-19. Our state lab has now confirmed our first case due to community spread in Wilson County, which means the person had not traveled nor been in contact with a known positive case. This is an expected but still unfortunate benchmark in this new pandemic. Expected community spread is one of the many reasons our state made difficult decisions to take early aggressive action to slow the spread. The decisions we make and the actions we take now will help determine how we fare in the end. These are life or death decisions that government leaders pray that we never have to make. But when these decisions come, we pray for the wisdom and courage to make the right calls. We have to work to see around corners if we're going to combat this virus effectively. Our public health experts and emergency management team continue to prepare our medical resources to handle a surge in coronavirus patients. We are identifying additional facilities we can use as emergency medical centers. We are finding more protective gear for our healthcare workers. We're pushing out testing supplies and establishing sample collection sites across the state. I can't stress enough how much our state and the rest of the country will need the federal government to step up with testing supplies, equipment, and ventilators. We are managing our resources and we are ahead of other states, but we can expect many more patients. All right, if you're just now tuning in, that was Governor Cooper within the past hour confirming the first coronavirus case in North Carolina due to community spread. And if you did miss that, it means that the person has not traveled nor been in contact with a known positive case at this time. I do want to emphasize WICT is here providing facts, not fiction during this time of the coronavirus spread, bringing you the latest updates here on WNCT Now and on our broadcast. Another case of COVID-19 was also confirmed in Eastern North Carolina this morning. The Pitt County Health Department reported its first case in a news release. Here is what we know at this time. The patient is a man who recently traveled out of the state. Health officials believe he was infected during his travels. We also know he is an employee at North Pitt High School. The man is currently in isolation and recovering at his home at this time. Pitt County Health Director Dr. John Silvernail will address this case um, in a response during a news conference this afternoon in about an hour at 3.15. Our Katie Augustine is there, and we'll bring you that news conference live here on WNCT Now and on WNCT.com. So right now we're going to take a quick commercial break, um, and we'll bring you the latest coronavirus coverage just after this. WNCT 9 has one mission, to be on your side. Right now, we want to ensure that you have the facts about COVID-19, the coronavirus, and how it affects all of us here in the East. We'll have the latest information in our newscast on WNCT.com and on our mobile app under the coronavirus section. WNCT 9 is on your side with facts, not fear. We'll get through this together. WNCT 9 is on your side with the facts about the coronavirus. All right, and like we said, the facts, not the fears, and all of our latest information on the coronavirus coverage is on our website at WNCT.com. Also, starting today, ECU is closing its dorms for the rest of the semester. Um, in response of the co coronavirus outbreak, our nine-year sides, Madeline Ashley was out there on campus today gathering more information about the move-out process. Lots of families were in town 
as you can see right here in this B-roll, students from across the country are really seeing their college experiences cut short during the rapid spread of the coronavirus. ECU students are leaving campus earlier than planned this year as they are shutting down dorms to combat the spread of the virus. During the move out, students and employees and employees were asked to practice social distancing to avoid the spread of germs. ECU also asked families today to come either during the morning or the evening hours when there would be less traffic. So anyone showing signs of fever, cough, or shortness of breath were also asked to stay away from campus. So that will just about wrap up our WNCT Now news coverage of the coronavirus um, outbreak. We will bring you another um, live update this afternoon just before our 5 p.m. newscast. Um, and you can, as always, find all this information on our broadcast and online at WNCT.com. So thanks so much for watching.